I need to go and find the latest version of Umbraco. Uh, I'm just going to go to the Codeplex site and download uh, the zip file for uh, Umbraco 6 here. Download that. Uh, I created an, a folder on my desktop that I called uh, Umbraco install just to keep everything uh, in there. Let's just call that Umbraco 6.5 there, install that. While we wait for that, let's, um, let's open that folder. So we, we, we need to extract Umbraco from that uh, archive and put it into the site we just installed. Let me just get rid of that file there. Um, good, so Umbraco is downloaded. Chrome is checking it, let's open it up. Extract all the files. I'm simply selecting all the files, copying, pasting uh, them. Um, okay, copy. I'll then uh, find my WW root that we had from before, right there the Umbraco folder, and I'm then just pasting in Umbraco here. That's all that's required to get Umbraco up and running. Um, once all the files are uh, in place in the website, we can simply add it, uh, add, sort of access it on the, uh, on the host name we just set up. And we'll just wait for this to complete here. Okay. So all the files are in place in the Umbraco website, and now I just need to access it on the host name that we just set up. So Chrome requires me to do HTTP here. So let's just do that. And that should initiate the Umbraco installer uh, so we can get a database set up and, and get everything up and running here. So let's get started. Accept and continue. For a database, you need to use SQL Server. We need to specify a server, a database, a username. So we need a new database set up here. So uh, I'm opening up a SQL Server Management Studio to just quickly create a new database. So I right click on databases, say new database. Let's just call it Umbraco, like that. I've already already got a SQL user set up to, uh, to access this. It's uh, down here, logins, and my Umbraco user here has access to all the databases on the system here, so I don't need to assign any uh, permissions. But of course, you can set up a separate user if you need to. With that done, let's pop back into the browser. Specify that we want to access a local server here. Uh, the database that we just set up, Umbraco, my uh, user is called Umbraco as well, and the password is super secret. <laughs> so with that, let's just click install, and you, Umbraco will do its uh, thing, like that. And with that done, we can just log into Umbraco uh, with this new user that we're setting up right now and verify that everything is up and running as we expect. Right, so no need to install a starter kit. We're going to do something else today. All right, so let's take a look at the backend and see everything up and running here.